lifesaver. the squid change form? I mean, I think of octopus that changes its colour. Is that the same thing with, with this colossal squid? Colossal squid, when it's alive, is probably this great big barrel shape. You know, it's transparent sphere with these enormous fins on it's the back. It's transparent? Bag. It's totally transparent, yeah. Wow. We still don't know how a squid makes itself transparent. It's the only creature that can become almost completely invisible. can't make its eyes disappear, but it does the next best thing. Underneath the eye, it's got two photophores, okay? Now, if you've got a predator that's looking up, now it's looking at a shiny surface or a lighter surface above, you know, the sun is shining on down. It uses those photophores to cast light down, thus making the eyes invisible relative to the sea level itself. If an invisible body and glowing eyes don't do the job, the squid can put up a smoke screen. It surprises the opponent and covers a quick exit. Launching a surprise attack from invisibility makes the squid a deadly hunter. It also explains why we took so long to discover it. The animators equip our virtual colossal squid with stealth camouflage. A device our virtual sperm whale must counter when they meet in our cyber showdown. Would you like to be in the water with a sperm whale or with a colossal squid? I know where I'd put my money. I, I, I wouldn't be in the water with the squid. I'd I tell prefer you. neither. Yeah, yeah, I think the squid would rip you to bits and it's going to do serious injury to that whale. But to help it in the coming battle, the whale is armed with one of nature's most sophisticated weapon systems. The deeper you go in the ocean, the darker it gets. After just 100 feet, there's no light at all. Yet the sperm whale can dive much deeper, almost two miles. So, how does it find its way around in total darkness? With a sixth sense, it can see with sound. Sound is the best way we have to track and study whales, and sperm whales make a lot of noise. Those clicks and creaks can hit 190 decibels. That's like being one yard from a jet engine. Some have been recorded at 223 decibels. The noise of a rocket launch. produce up to 1,800 clicks during a dive, half a billion during their lifetime. These pulses are so loud, they can be heard 40 miles away. But how does the whale use sound to detect an invisible object underwater? The 
same way submarines do. Subs and whales both use sonar, sound navigation and ranging to find their way around. Sound travels through water five times faster than in air at 3,600 miles an hour. By sending out sound pulses, then listening for the echo, subs and whales can identify a target's size, speed and direction. The Navy uses electronics. The whale just uses its nose. And 50 million years of practice. The whale's huge nose is a noise generator and is filled with 500 gallons of waxy oil called spermaceti. Sound bounces from the whale's nostril to the back of the head, then out. You said that the spermaceti organ is this thing that produces sound. Explain to me how this thing works. Well, when you see the skeleton of a sperm whale, particularly the skull, it's remarkable. The whole thing has changed over time as it's evolved so that it forms a huge kind of a dish or almost like an amphitheater in the front. And then the jaw projects out tens of feet in front of that. All of this forms a support for this huge spermaceti organ. And the spermaceti oil is in the head. And at least one of the functions of that is to focus sound so that production of the sound goes on back along the modified nasal tracks below the blowhole and then it's projected forward in different ways that we don't understand through that spermaceti organ. We're about to take the whale's pulse to see how it measures up against a colossal squid. Then we'll see who's stalking who. The colossal squid can make itself invisible, but the sperm whale might see right through that trick using its natural sonar. So you mentioned that the giant squid is invisible and that it might be able to see the sperm whale first. But of course the sperm whale has sonar and I think that's the sperm whale's primary prey detection method. So it might be detecting the colossal squid at probably tremendous distances long before the squid can react. Your transparent thing doesn't work out so good in that situation. A sub fires its sonar pulses in all directions, but a sperm whale can focus its sound into a beam. Just the thing for locating a slippery squid in the depths. The lab team has rigged up a sound system to demonstrate how the whale's sound beam travels through water. Put this thing to business here. Okay, let it rip. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, look at that. That's look a nice that. one. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah. That is cool. Each of these smoke rings represents a sonar pulse from a sperm whale. Sound from a large speaker forces air through a choke point, where it's focused into a narrow ring, similar to what the whale does with its nose. Well, I think this is a pretty impressive representation of what sound would look like if we slowed it way down. Yep. I mean, the sperm whale is using a much higher frequency sound. It's pulsing it like this, so each smoke ring represents a compressed wave of sound, which would also have pressure. I mean, it is a pressure wave. In the deep, dark waters of Antarctica, the whale's tiny eyes are useless. But those pressure waves cut through the gloom like a searchlight. The returning echoes show the whale what's ahead. Camouflage is no protection against this weapon because it detects shape, not color. 